Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyston Grove, and today we're gonna show you how to make some Christmas candles to go on your mantle, and some super huge ones to go next to your fireplace. Let's get into it. This is gonna be awesome. Originally, I got this idea from my brother-in-law in Hungary. He built some of these candles and sent me some pictures, and I really liked them, so I decided we're gonna build some for ourselves. I'm going to be building three different designs. I'm going to be building a small single candle design, a multi candle design, and then a really large candle design. So many options! I decided to use cedar fence pickets for this project. They're a bit more work to make them smooth if you don't have a planer, but they're really inexpensive and easy to work with. I kind of played it by ear to get the dimensions I wanted, but I have created templates for the pieces that I came up with, and they're available on our website. Once I had a bunch of pieces cut, I used a compass to trace half circles on the pieces that will be the candle bases. Then I cut them out on the bandsaw and sanded them on my bent sander. I used a chamfer bit in my router to put a chamfer on the top of the bases for the multi-candle design. I also used a small chamfer on the main body of each candle and a larger chamfer on the base for the single candle design. I drew up a few designs for the flames, some melted wax, and a base for the single candle, and cut them out on the scroll saw. I used the bench sander for most of the sanding, and then hand sanded the edges and corners. The flames will be held in place with some quarter inch dowel, so I used a drill block and marked my bit with some blue tape to drill out holes in the candle bodies and the flames. I also drilled pilot holes in the bases. And lastly, I cut some quarter inch dowel for the wicks. I decided I wanted some of the candles painted, so I went ahead and sprayed some parts and hand painted other parts before assembly. Assembly was pretty straightforward. I used some glue and dowels to attach the flames, some glue and brad nails to attach the wax cutouts, and glue and finish screws to attach the candles to the bases.
The multi-candle assembly was exactly the same, but looking back, I think I would have preferred to make the bases a little bit bigger so I could have spread the candles out a bit more, but that's a pretty easy fix. Now on to the big boy. The large candle was pretty much exactly the same process, just bigger. Much bigger. How big? Huge! I also decided to use a half inch dowel for the wick because I thought it looked a little bit more proportionate than the quarter inch dowel. I created templates for these larger pieces also. They'll be available with the templates for the smaller candles. Instead of making a round base for the larger candle, I used a halving or cross lap joint. I don't know what it's called. Let me know in the comments below if you know the proper name for this joint. Somewhere along the line, I lost the footage of cutting out the slots, which I did with a jigsaw. Sorry about that. All right, all our candles are finished. As you can see, I batched out a couple different ones just to try out a couple different designs. I built two of the big ones. One of them I sanded really nice and smooth, and I'm sure my wife will probably end up painting it even though I really like the natural wood look. The other one, I didn't even bother sanding. I just left the rough cedar and it'll be perfect next to the door outside. I really like the multi-candle design and the vibrant colors, but like I said in the video, if I built them again, I would probably make the base just a teeny bit bigger so I can space these candles out just a little bit more. Out of all three designs, I have to say that the single candle design in natural wood is my all-time favorite. Number one, I really like the natural wood look, and second, I really like the extra details of the base and this large chamfer on the bottom. I think it adds a lot to the design. Like I said before, I've created templates for the flames, the wax pieces, and the bases along with the flames and wax pieces on the larger candles. They're available in a bundle on our website, so I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. Let me know in the comments which one of these three candle designs is your favorite and if you have any ideas on how we can improve the design. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.